Roads we drive on to the homes we live in and the stores where we shop. Firefighters have been busy this week working to make our communities safer. Hundreds of firefighters from around the country joined forces in Sharonville this week to share knowledge and resources. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson spent some time with them. And Karen, I understand one topic that was discussed, electric car fires. Yeah, you know, that has become a big concern locally and really all across the country. And it's not just fires from the electric cars that are on the roads, but really lithium batteries in general. From cell phones and laptops to scooters and electric cars, lithium ion batteries are everywhere. This year alone, we've had over 200 fires involving them and more than a dozen fatalities. They become a deadly problem in larger cities and a concern here locally. And what so many people don't know is now there's trucks running up and down the road hauling like heavy freight that are lithium ion battery. So th there's more and more challenges coming for us. So the fire service is all hazards. Just last month, Westchester fire investigators said a lithium battery may be to blame for the fire at Hopewell Junior School. Other departments have voiced concerns over electric car fires. Battery composition uh, makes it difficult to, to extinguish them using, you know, primary uh, you know, water the way we would typically put them out. Uh, and that's been the challenge. Some local departments are now equipped with car fire blankets, a tool designed to isolate an electric car fire. Like southbound 75 where we're at in Lachlan, right? So if the fire is between those walls and I can put this blanket over it, in a short period of time we could probably open the road back up and then leave it covered, get it towed off the highway and we'll deal with it, you know, somewhere else. This issue is just one of many discussed this week at the Blue Card Hazard Zone Conference in Sharonville, a conference that brought hundreds of firefighters and incident commanders together from 37 states as well as Germany and Australia. Among other topics discussed, line of duty deaths, including cancer, the leading cause of death among firefighters, technical rescues, and fire protection systems. The goal for fire service leaders to walk away with more knowledge when managing hazardous situations in our neighborhoods. Ultimately, it is about the community. And you know, you talk about line of duty deaths, uh, very difficult when it happens but oftentimes they do become learning tools. And I can tell you the Colerain fire chief was here speaking to many of these firefighters about the death, uh, about the fire that killed uh, Brian Shira and Robin Broxterman, Broxterman back in 2008. So again, all these years later, now firefighters are learning from what happened there. Reporting live tonight in Sharonville, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, you mentioned cancer being number one cause of deaths among firefighters. Isn't there a national firefighter cancer registry registry? Yeah, there is. And uh, that was brought up here today. The CDC was here also, and they were asking firefighters to sign up on the National Cancer Firefighter Registry. Again, hoping to collect data and down the line, use that data to save lives. So a lot going on here this week. Yeah, Karen Johnson reporting live. Thanks so much, Karen.